In this example, we are going to evaluate a double integral of x squared plus y squared to power 3 over 2, where x is from minus 1 to 1, and y from 0 to square root of y minus x squared. This integration will be very difficult if you use the Cartesian coordinate. However, it will be much easier if we convert this integral using polar coordinates. But before that, you must know what is the region R. R is a region where x is from minus 1 to 1, and y is greater than 0 or equal to 0 to less than or equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. So how does this region look like? Well, let me sketch for you. On the xy plane, we are x is from minus 1 to 1, and y is from 0 to square root of 1 minus x squared. The shape of square root of y minus x squared is actually a semicircle. Because when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, and when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So this is actually a semicircle, and the region R, in this case, is this shaded region R. So this is actually a semicircle, where x from minus 1 to 1, y from 0 to square root of 1 minus x squared. A semicircle with radius equal to 1 center at origin. Now we are going to convert this using polar coordinate. First, notice that dy dx convert to polar coordinate will be r dr d theta and x square plus y square equal to r square. Therefore, x square plus y square power 3 over 2 is equal to r power 3. So, the integral after conversion will look like integration of r power 3 r dr d theta or integration of r power 4 dr d theta. The only thing we still have to figure out is the limit of the integration. To find the limit of integration, we find the outer limit of theta first. We find out what is the smallest value of theta and the largest value of theta. From the shaded portion, the theta is theta equal to 0. As we travel through the region, we find that this will be theta equal to pi. Therefore, the value of theta is from 0 to pi. So we fill in outer limit theta from 0 to pi. Next, we are going to find the inner limit for r. So by looking at the region, we find that the value of r is a distant measure from origin. The smallest value of r is i equal to 0. The largest value of r depends on theta. It still reach 1. No matter where is your theta, r from 0 to 1. Therefore, the value of r is from 0 to i equal to 1. Now, 
now we are ready to evaluate this double integral. Do the inner integral first. Integrate r to power 4 with respect to r, I get r to power 5 over 5, where r from 0 to 1. As we integrate the inner integral, and this will give us 1 over 5 d theta. So answer is 1 over 5 times pi.